there's my drawing. My photograph is around and um, I'll use it as a bit of a reference. So I think it's very easy to procrastinate. And so I will tend to get stuck in straight away with the center of the painting because um, that's what interests me the most. So I'll be very excited about um, painting it. I'm going to wet the page. You can see some of that water now. I'm going around, turning the brush around this promontory that was Mark White. And by wetting above and below the waterline, which is drying incredibly quickly already, probably the lights, I'll be able to drop in a bit of paint and it will run down. So what I'm gonna do is actually create some shapes just backwards and forwards horizontally in the lake because that'll guide where the paint goes. And you can hear me just bashing my, um, my water jar each time. So let's start with a bit of indigo. And you can see how it's gonna go round that promontory. Um, it won't um, run into the white area. So that's how I'm gonna control my painting. Going to go straight up to the top. So uh, that was um, wet indigo but I can go in very thick. So that's a poplar tree going on in there. And then another one. You can see how bleedy this will be. Look, you can see these feathers already. I love that. Um, so I've started there. I'm gonna have to go over and, and make this more clear, of course. This is just almost semi-abstract work at the moment. What's lovely about this subject is you really can watch the, the paint flow. It's gorgeous. This is sap green going in. I'm turning the brush quite a lot. You can see that. Um, I'm just aware of what's above this now. I, I want the background incredibly vague. So I'm going to stop there and just think about the reflections. Now the reflections are painted at the same time. Obviously there's problems when you've got a dry bit in between. So I'm just jumping that promontory and making sure that goes in there and just helping it sideways a little bit. Every time you put the brush down and remove it, it makes a mark, of course, in the paint. So I have to be a little bit careful. Let's do a little bit of mixing now. We don't want pure indigo there. I'm gonna put a bit of sap green in there. 